Hi, and welcome to Bastard Goes to Spiel. This is the second day of the Messe, and uh, we're just heading out there. But before we go, we'd like to run through some of the last games that we took home yesterday. And they are here. Yes. So uh, we started out with uh, getting all our small, weird Japanese games. Uh, so we have these in the front. What do you have, Ola? I have here a chrysanthemum game with a dice, and I assume you roll them and do stuff. And they have pretty colors. It's not the bomb, it's like the flowers, yes. Chrysanthemum. I hope so. I hope so, too. We need the cafe alive. I also have this very nice bag with small uh, ping pong balls in that apparently need to be uh, rolled or something. I don't know. It has birds on them. And here we have a game called, game called Shinobi Just, apparently about ninjas and breaking into houses. We always need ninjas. This is a Sakura Hunt. It needs to make like these trees, blossom trees, red stuff. It's very beautiful. Without ninjas. Without ninjas. Here we have a pixelated uh, fantasy game, Lost JMW. We don't know how it works because it's in very Japanese, but we'll get to it. Tagiran. Don't know what that's about. Or Tech Iron, perhaps. Tech Iron. And Prank the Fox. Prank, sorry, Prank of the Fox. <laughs> uh, which is about apparently pranking a fox. Perhaps you are... Oh, you say oops. Beware the backside. Yeah. Here we have like... Okay, perfect hotel. Uh, it's about making a hotel very nice. And one of us becomes an evil god. Well, that's the name, name of the game. Can it be me? No. This is for uh, Laurel Crown, yet another Japanese game. We don't know what it's about, but it's nice. And here we have multiple. Multiple what? We don't know. CV Pocket. Now out of the Japanese thing, you know the game CV? This is the pocket version. Going back into Japanese territory, Sweet Honey, Be Mine. With a weird thing. Memora. Combining pirates and memory games. You know you need it. And Time Bomb Evolution, just like Time Bomb, but with Evolution and Japanese. Captain Dice, a game that has a thing in it and dice. Oh, burn it. Oh, the girls will love this. And the bartender. And here we have a sign about combining signs and making signs. Samurai Doki, game consisting only of three cubes, fans, and things with bells on it. And here we have Lagerstätten, a game about being a paleontologist. Looks paleontologist really, blank. Really grey looking game. There. Oh yeah, nice. We have Soloretto Duel, which is Soloretto just for two. And Loot Island about probably looting an island. Istanbul, the die game. The Würfelspiel, very popular Istanbul, now with dice. And here we have from Fruits Games, After the Virus, about zombies and stuff and surviving. Do you know Rory Story Cubes? Here's a game where you make an adventure about it. Really looking forward to playing this one. And Indian Summer uh, by Uwe. It's a well, continuation of the thing with... Uh, Tetris Pug things. Yeah, it has, really has a thing Garden. with Tetris things yes. going on. Uh, Gold Amada by Reiner Kitzer. So it's about pirates, so we had to have it. And Great Tour about traveling Europe and seeing stuff and opera. <laughs> Cover me, where you want to be on the cover of a fancy magazine. And Reworld by Wolfgang Kramer, and the other one was Michael Kiesling. Kiesling and Kramer. About building a spaceship and traveling. This is not about building spaceships, but about cities in the sky. Noria by Sophia Wagner. Heavy game. And my last thing here is Dragon Castle, where you take the computer game of Mahjong and do stuff. And my last, you build a huge boat and put people on it. And someone, MS battery. Someone, something, something gets stolen. I someone think. got killed, probably. Oh, anyway. Stolen. Stolen. Okay. Thingy. Anyway, we'll see later what we got today.